Hello class, this is a video tutorial on the quotient rule. When two terms are dividing, it is called a quotient. And I've shown here three different examples where even functions can divide one another. So for all of these, f of x over g of x, or p of x over q of x, a of x over b of x, all of these are examples of a quotient. To differentiate, dividing functions, we use the quotient rule. So all of these are of the form y equals f of x on g of x, and so its derivative, y prime, is equal to f prime of x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over the square of g of x. Now this looks like a very intimidating um, rule to remember, but as before, I'll show you a trick to remember this. So for the quotient rule, the two unique things that you'd have to remember are similar to the product rule. I'll get you to write u, v, u, v. But the unique thing that you have to remember for the quotient rule, it is v squared and a minus, but we still remember that uh, bunny ears or quotation marks. Now remember, we do not ever write our derivatives like this, but it's just a way for us to remember that it should be u prime is u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared. So. Notice how with the product rule, it's still uv, uv, with bunny ears, but with the product rule, it's plus. So this is the product rule, whereas this is the quotient rule. Okay, so let's go straight into this, and we'll utilize this rule in order for us to differentiate or find the derivative of these functions. Like the previous one, we should state what u and v are. So here we go. u is the top function, which is x, and its derivative is u prime, which is just one. The denominator, or v, is v equals x squared plus one, and so v prime is two x. Now that we have this, we can find our derivative. It's going to be y prime equals u prime times v. So u prime times v, it's one times this. So we just still keep x squared plus one, following the rule, minus, minus x times two x. So we get 2x squared all over v squared. So this squared will be x squared plus 1 all squared. The numerator can be simplified. So y prime gives us x minus 2x squared. So x squared minus 2x squared gives us 1 minus x squared all over x squared plus one, all squared. And this is a fully simplified expression of the derivative of y. Okay, so starting off nice and simple for this, let's keep going for the next expression. Once again, notice how we have two functions, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. And once again, we identify what u and v are. So u equals five minus three x. U prime is its derivative, which is just negative three. Oops. V is the denominator, five x plus two. So v prime is just five. Following now our rule, the derivative y prime is equal to, uh, oops, u prime times v. 
u prime times v. This one I will need to color code because it's a little bit more complex. So negative 3 times 5x plus 2 minus, so minus uv prime, u times v prime. This I'm going to write as 5 times 5 minus 3x. So in this case, u and v prime, the order is switched, but it's still the product of these. This must all be over the denominator, so v squared, 5x plus 2, all squared. We can simplify the numerator. This will give us negative 15x minus 6. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15x all over 5x plus 2 all squared. The 15x, they cancel, negative 15 and positive 15. So our numerator, all we are left with is y prime equals negative 6 minus 25 is negative 31 all over 5x plus 2 all squared. And so that's the end of the first two examples of the quotient rule. As you can see, it's just following this rule. And the, the advised way of doing this is specifying what u and v are and finding those derivatives first. Hope to see you in the next video where we tackle the next four examples and you'll see that they um, get increasingly more complex. Hope to see you then and best of luck.